All right, let's jump back in. I'm Coach Roundtree on my social media platforms. I post interview tips and career advice to help you elevate your game. Today's topic is all about the MBA. Should you get your Master's of Business Administration? All right, what first, what is an MBA? MBA is a graduate degree. Typically, it's a one to maybe three year program. You can go part time or full time, and we'll talk a little bit more about that. But really, it's about the fundamentals of business, learning everything about from economics to finance to supply chain to marketing sales. You get all of that foundational information, and then you're able to specialize in a specific area. Like, for example, I did my MBA at NC State in Raleigh, North Carolina, and go Wolfpack, and I focused on marketing. I loved customer behavior. Uh, segmentation and strategy so that was my focus for my MBA so the question you need to ask yourself should you get your MBA my personal opinion yes I have about three to five tips and um, reasons why I think that's the case and so let's jump back in first the reason why you should get your MBA is your earning power there was a recent article um, on CNBC and I'll link it below and put it in the description in the comments where over the lifetime GMAC the graduate management um, admission council said that an MBA makes three million dollars more over the, the duration of your career than someone who just has a bachelor's degree because when you have your MBA you can apply for these bigger jobs that have more autonomy more responsibility and the MBA is viewed as a way to help you get into those doors so that's number one you can increase your your earning power number two for me which was so important career transitions. So before getting into B school, I was a sixth grade science teacher and basketball coach. Developed incredible interpersonal skills, obviously communicating, coaching, and mentoring. That's my superpower. But I wanted to be a business leader. So if you're looking to transition from one industry to another, the MBA could be that ticket for you. It was for me, and it was a significant um, um, experience for me. I, I learned so much and I met some incredible people that I'm still in contact with today. It's been 10 years since I was in B school. But um, so if you're in finance right now and you want to move to tech, the MBA could help you bridge the gap and get over there. Or maybe you have a science background, you're in biology and you want to get into finance and be becoming a consultant. The MBA is the bridge to get you there. Um, a few more reasons why you should get your MBA, why it's worth it. Um, your starting salary. So GMAC in 2021 said after you complete your MBA, the starting salary is $115,000. Now, if you get into one of the top MBA programs, the Harvard's, the Stanford's, um, the Chicago Booth um, School of Business, the starting salary is $170,000. Now, obviously, there's a big cost element that you have to factor in, but that's a huge difference. Now, compare that to a bachelor's degree. So if you're just starting out with a bachelor's degree, the base salary, um, according to recent reports, is $55,000. So going from $55,000 to $115,000, tremendous. Now, for me personally, as a sixth grade science teacher, my salary was $28,000 in 2007 through 2009. I was paid once a month. When I got my first big dog job offer, when I joined Amazon, my total compensation was 10 times that. My sign-on bonus at Amazon was three times what I was being paid annually as a science teacher. Because I transitioned to tech, it was a, a very, um, in terms of importance and impact, it was a huge role and I was compensated for that. So if you want to multiply your income, you want to change the way your earning potential, huge advocate for the MBA. All right. Another um, area about the MBA is probably why it's so important that's not talked about often is you can start a business. If what if you think about all the big CEOs, the Microsofts, the the Googles, the Metas, if, or or Apple as well, what do they have in common? Oftentimes they have an MBA. They're entrepreneurial. So getting your MBA could be an awesome opportunity to start a company. A lot of these schools like Harvard, 
um, Booth and several other MBA programs, they actually have incubator programs where you can pitch your idea. You can actually raise funds while you're in school um, getting your MBA. And also, which is a big one, is your network. When you uh, pursue your MBA, you're not just getting the information and learning. You're also meeting influential people. And potential investors are could be alumni, angel investors. And again, you could find you can create your founding team. You're in class in economics and you're talking to John or you're talking to Jane. It's like, oh, I like the vibe here. Maybe we could build something together. And so there's there's oftentimes in B school, people are spinning up these startups. They're going to pitch competitions. They're raising funds while they're in business school so that when they graduate and some don't even make it to graduation, they start, they find product market fit. They raise funds from either the school will invest in the startup or alumni will invest or they do pitch competitions and they're actually not even finishing the program and just going full time with their startup. The last thing I'll say on getting your MBA part time is the play. I went full time and I enjoyed my experience, but if I had to do it all over again, I would go part time, continue to earn from a full time job. And then although my program, will make, it won't be the one to two years, it might be longer, it'll probably be three to four years, but I'm not losing that money. And plus, oftentimes, if I go part time, my employer could pay for my MBA and I can also have an opportunity to level up in my current current organization. And another thing that doesn't get mentioned a lot is with getting your MBA and going part time. You have real world examples in real time that you can discuss when we're reviewing cases or or maybe your company is in the news and we're talking about current events and that could help you. Hey, listen, I hope this is helpful. Yes, the MBA is worth it. The only last pro tip I would say is to focus on the top 50 MBA programs. You do not have to get into a top 10 program. You need to find an accredited university that has the major or specialization that you want and the cost is not prohibitive, meaning you don't have to spend a whole bunch of money to get this degree. Because when you, my MBA is a top 50, depending on the rankings, we can be up within the top 25 or within the top 40. But it's not a top 10 MBA, but it's opened tremendous doors for me. And I was able to get this incredible education for a fraction of the cost at some of the big dog schools. So don't get discouraged. Yes, go get your MBA. Please comment below. Give me a thumbs up. It helps others find this content. And I'll see you next time.